What's up, Emily? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We are back with another video. This one's going to be about seven signs. How to identify that witchcraft is attacking you. A lot of people are unaware of uh, what witchcraft really is. Now, some people will say it's just black magic, um, hex, you know, hexing or casting a spell. And yes, that is a form of witchcraft, but witchcraft also comes in many other forms too. And a lot of people are in these churches and they're getting hit with witchcraft by the pastor or the quote unquote pastor, the quote unquote prophet. And I'm gonna explain, you know, y'all know when I make my videos on the whiteboards, it's never in order, but I made sure to put one to three in order because I, this has to be talked about. And this is it's getting attacked. A lot of people are getting attacked and they have no idea because they're unable to identify it. And this is why it's very, very important to have the Holy Spirit, to have a personal relationship with God the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go, let's go. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The number one sign of witchcraft is attacking you and how to identify it is manipulation, okay? Manipulation is another form of witchcraft. When someone is manipulating you, right? And when when it comes to manipulating you, then they, the next thing they do is trying to control you, to control you. When someone is trying to control and manipulate you, that is a form of witchcraft. They're trying to control the way you think, control the way you move, and this is happening, like I said, guys, this is happening in these churches, okay? Whenever you start to, you know, have a mind for yourself, you just start to question things, you're going to start to notice that person, you know, whether it's a pastor or whether it could be any, anywhere else in the world, not just in the church. But whenever you find someone uh, trying to manipulate you and trying to control you, that is a form of witchcraft, okay? When someone's trying to control the way you move, how you think, okay, how you operate, that is witchcraft. Identify it quick, okay? When someone is not, because when, whenever you're able to think differently, whenever you're able to have a mind for yourself and, you know, not allow someone to control you, you're going to notice that the, those demons working in that person to, you know, remember witchcraft is a work of the flesh, all right? So when someone is trying to do that, okay, this is very something you have to identify first. I remember quick little testimony when I first went to, started going to church, when I first started picking up my cross and following Christ, okay? I noticed that these all these church people, you know, they wanted me to think exactly how they thought. And when I didn't want to do that, then they started to manipulate, then they started to control me. And then number three, the next thing they started to do is they, they will attack you with fear, okay? The Bible says that God does not give us a spirit of fear. But when someone's operating under witchcraft and try to cast that spell on you, that witchcraft spell on you, they'll throw fear. Oh, if you don't go to this church, or if you don't believe in the way I, I believe in, if you don't follow the way I follow, you're, you're gonna go to hell, you're gonna go, to this, all these type of lies and slander. That's 100% witchcraft. And a lot of people are unaware of this and they're unable to identify because they're so they're so they getting attacked so hard and they don't know how to fight back okay and this is why it's very important guys every one of you guys to have the full armor of god on and to fight back okay when someone is you know manipulating you when someone's trying to control you when someone's trying to attack you with fear you have to fight back if you don't fight back that witchcraft is going to overtake you and lead you down to a dark path okay that's why like i said once again you got to have the holy spirit you got to have a personal relationship with god and the son of jesus christ because he will break the chains he will free you from those people okay god will always protect his own people but the thing is when god is giving you signs when God is giving you warnings, dreams, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, he's giving you visions and you're not taking heed to it and you're not listening to him, you're being disobedient, he will allow them to do this. He will allow them to mess with you. Okay, It could be another form of judgment because best believe God has created these demons. He has to control them to, to use them to judge the nation, to judge people against your sins, your disobedience, your willful sin. Okay, So yes, guys, always keep that in mind. Manipulation. Someone try to control you. A lot of people are in relationships. Okay, It's not just only these churches. They're in relationships and someone's trying to overly control you. That is a form of witchcraft. All right? Uh, manipulate now use wisdom okay use wisdom to what i'm saying if you have a husband and you're a, and you're you know you're his wife and he doesn't want you to go to a club uh, he doesn't want you to dress up like a 304 and he's telling you you know I, I want you know wife i love you i don't want you to dress like that i don't want you to go out by yourself you know so use wisdom there's nothing wrong with that so like i said guys use wisdom to what i'm saying all right but when someone's manipulating controlling you and they're attacking you with fear. Remember, God does not give us a fear. They will try to make you feel like if you don't follow their path, follow their lead, okay? You know, and then you're going to start to notice you kind of get fearful. That's witchcraft. You have to identify it quick, immediately, because if you don't, they're going to take you down to a long path, all right? Number four. Okay, number four. Oh, this is deep. Bro, guys, this is a spiritual warfare. You have to know this. You have to. Okay, number four is constant nightmares okay constant nightmares spiritual attacks you wake up you notice you wake up sweaty or you wake up in like a strong sense of fear okay i wrote it down right here i don't know if you guys can see it's pretty small 
But when you have constant nightmares, now there's many things that happen also with constant nightmares. One could be, let's say, remember I, I always tell you guys in my videos, willful sin opens up doors for demonic attacks, for spiritual attacks. So, you know, that could be another, another door you open up. When you get constant nightmares, when you wake up, I remember this, I would wake up in intense and like in sweatiness. I'm like, what the heck? I would wake up with um, wet dreams, okay? Where there was a, the, for those who don't know what a succubus and the incubus is, the demon of uh, lust, the demon of sex and how they attack you in your dreams, that is another form of witchcraft. And see, some of these things, they could open these doors. It's through, like I said, you out here watching corn, or maybe it's not even, you You could be on semen retention, you could be on NoFap, and you know, you're know you doing it for three, four months, and you're feeling good, you're feeling great, and all of a sudden this attack comes. And that attack, it gives you that strong temptation, it gives you that strong urge and want to go back to your old ways. This is, like I said, guys, spiritual warfare. Put on the armor on and fight back. Don't give in. Don't uh, don't give in to the temptations. You got to resist. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. The devil likes to, to bother the people who are not resisting. The people who are giving over, giving it over to darkness, giving over to the kingdom of darkness, giving over to his his uh, Satan's will in your life. But when you resist the devil, okay, he eventually has to flee from you. Now, of course, you got to submit to God and resist the devil. So submit to God in your obedience. Okay, come to Him humbly on your knees and get ready for war. Get ready to fight. So always understand this: when you get constant nightmares, you have to you have to pray it off. The minute you wake up, I don't care how sweaty you are. I don't care how much fear you are. You have to pray against that, okay? Pray against it and rebuke it in the name of Jesus, all right? Number five. Ooh, a lot of people are going to get mad at this one. A lot of people are going to get mad at this one, but it's true. The truth makes people mad, all right? When you repent, okay, when you repent from tarot cards, the occult, new age practices, you're going to notice that these demons, okay, these witches and warlocks in the spiritual realm, you're going to get attacked by witchcraft because when you open the door, like I said earlier, when you open the door through willful sin, through witchcraft, which is a work of the flesh, and those who do that will not inherit God's kingdom. It talks about this in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21, okay? When you repent from the witchcraft, okay? And for those who want to scoff and troll, oh, Mark, there's nothing wrong with tarot cards, nothing wrong with astrology. How about this? I'll give you a challenge. I'll challenge you. You th th throw it away in the trash for 60 days and watch what happens happens in your life. Watch how the devil gets mad. He gets angry. The kingdom of darkness does not want you to leave. It doesn't want you to go to God's kingdom. So they're going to attack you. So give it up for 60 days. Okay. Give it up for 60 days and watch, watch these demons attack you. Okay. So when you ever, you repent from the witchcraft, the sorcery, the divination. Okay. When you repent from it, all right, the cold, the new age practices, I have many videos on this. Um, you know, that's, that could be a long list, but you all know, Y'all know, y'all are getting, some of y'all are getting convicted watching this, okay? When you repent from it, when you throw it away in the trash, when you burn it, okay? When you turn away, you delete the apps off your phone. Y'all know, y'all know what to do. Delete it off your uh, laptop, okay? Delete the videos, all that. It's unsubscribe for those channels. Watch what happens. Pay attention. Pay attention. Stay in prayer and ask God to show me. Remember, come humble. You have to be humble. Come humbly and ask God, show me what I have to throw away. Show me and lead me to the way of righteousness. Lead me to the way to the narrow path. That leads to salvation. Show me, God. I come humbly. When you repent from the witchcraft, watch how these demons attack you. Watch how Satan's kingdom, the kingdom of darkness, comes at you full force. Be ready to fight. Don't be in fear, too, because that's how Satan attacks. Oh, yeah. Satan loves to attack you with fear, especially when you're not rooted in the, in the word. Okay, especially when you haven't studied and show yourself approved. When you're unlearned, okay, which I'm going to talk about this in number seven, which is going to be confusion. The devil loves to attack through fear. But like I said, Christ overcame the devil. So when you have, when you're following Christ, okay, you're gonna overcome the devil too. Okay, he led the way for us. That's our shepherd. All right. Number six is show. Yep, yep. I've been through this, bro. I've been through this. All right. Number six is sharp pains in your body and random headaches. You ever had those sharp pains out of nowhere? Out of nowhere, it's not like you have any health issues or anything like that, but you just experience those sharp pains. That is witchcraft. That is a demonic attack, and it must be rebuked in the name of Jesus. And once again, like I said, guys, you have to start praying this off. You have to start asking God, why is this happening to me? Maybe there's a door you're opening, or maybe it could be God's judgment through your, for your sins, your disobedience. Sometimes God could allow it through your disobedience, just like how God uh, removed the Holy Spirit away from Saul, and the evil spirit from God troubled him. So sometimes your disobedience, God allows you to get attacked. Remember, God is in control of the angels and of the demons. Okay, God formed the light and the dark. Okay, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. All right, so when you get those sharp pains in your body and those random headaches, especially for you guys who are turning away from your willful sin, you're turning away from your, your wickedness, your ungodly ways, and you're coming to righteousness, you could expect 
the demons to attack you with the sharp pains in your body, the random headaches. You can expect that. Expect spiritual warfare whenever you want to go to God, whenever you want to do the right thing, whenever you want to follow the way to salvation through that narrow path, okay? Because you're tired of being in that wide gate, that broad path will lead to destruction. You're tired of being spiritually dead, spiritually empty. You're tired of that. Okay? You're tired. You're, you're tired of being disconnected from God, and you want to find you want to find the answers. You want to find the truth. You want to feel elevated. You want to you want your spirit to you want to level up. Let's put it like that. You want to level up in righteousness. Okay, you could expect these demonic attacks. All right, number seven. Okay. Oh, this is real, bro. This is so real, man. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're getting edified. All right, number seven is intimidation. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so intimidation and confusion. Okay, having a cloudy mind. Another way the devil tries to attack us, especially with the, through the witchcraft, is the spirit of confusion. And we all know God is not the author of confusion. Okay, so whenever you're, whenever you're feeling confused, or whenever someone tries to intimidate you, that is a form of witchcraft. Okay, and how intimidation works, they want to cloud your mind and to get you to operate off whatever tactic they're trying to throw on you. So the intimidation tactics, witchcraft. The confusion, witchcraft. These are demonic attacks into your life. So you have to identify it. Okay, identify the witchcraft that's being thrown on you. Whatever demon, whatever someone who's a slave to Satan's kingdom, because they will be used. Anyone who's a slave to Satan's kingdom will be used against your life. You being a chosen one, you being a child of God, they will be used to try to get you to go back to Satan's kingdom, get you to go back to darkness. They don't want you to level up and become the best version of yourself and to seek God's kingdom daily and his righteousness so all things can be added into you. Sorry, they don't want you to do that. No, no, no. Okay, so they're going to try to throw all these tactics. So like I said, guys, witchcraft isn't just black magic, uh, casting the hex, uh, casting a spell, you know, it's not just that. Witchcraft comes in many forms and you have to be able to identify it quick because if you don't, they're going to take you down to a wrong path, man. This happens in friendships. This happens in relationships. This happens in churches, congregations. It happens in, in family members that, that you have to deal with this, okay? So please take heed to the message. I hope you guys got edified into the video. These are the seven signs that witchcraft is attacking you and how to identify it. If you guys made this this far and you guys enjoyed the video, like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video because someone needs to hear this message. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.